When we talk about data visualization tools, two names definitely pop up in our mind, which are Tableau and ClickView. It has also been a forever going dilemma which tool to choose out of the two. Hi all, I'm Apasna from Edureka, and in this module, I'm going to compare head to head both of these tools that are leaders of the Gartner's Magic Quadrant. But before I begin, I'd like to make something really, really clear. Now, the Tableau architecture is mostly focused on integrating, analyzing, and visualizing, whereas the Clip Views architecture is based on front end, back end, and resources. These are not exactly comparable as they serve really, really different purposes. But since both of these include data analysis and visualization, we shall go ahead and compare them. So let's look at the features based on which I'm going to compare these two tools. So first of all, we're going to talk a little bit about the ease of use and ease of learning these two technologies. Then I'm going to talk about the license cost base price of both of these. Then I'm going to talk about the connectivity of both of these tools to various other tools, databases, languages, etc. Then utility and system requirement, followed by insight generation, user experience, security, and finally scalability. So without much ado, let's get straight into the module. Now, ClickView is very easy to use and explore given the hidden trends. To search, just type any word in any order into the search box and associative results will pop up. It will also show connections and relationships across your data. It is difficult for the user to design their own views though, due to the menu driven properties. As per Tableau, its interface is pretty simple, not filled with too many features at one page. It has a drag and drop interface, which does not provide feature to search content across your data, but the user can easily create their own stories using various objects, and it is very easy because of the well-designed GUI surface. Let's talk a little bit about the license cost. Now, ClickView's personal edition is free with limitation of document sharing. Each named user license has a base price of $1,350 and it will charge you 15,000 for a concurrent user. Now, server license is 35,000 per server and additional 21,000 for PDF distribution. As for Tableau, the private versions come with a fixed fee of $999 or $1,999 depending on your data access. The Tableau server anecdotal evidence says $1,000 per server user with a minimum of 10 users plus maintenance. Apart from these, both of these have their free versions, which you could try out before investing this kind of money. Next, let's talk a little bit about both of these tools' connectivity with other tools, languages, or databases. Now, ClickView integrates with a very broad range of data sources like Amazon Vectorwise, Redshift, Cloudera Hadoop, Impala, CSV, Datstacks, and so on and so forth. It can connect with R using API integration and also connect to big data. As for Tableau, it can integrate with a broader range of data sources, including spreadsheets, CSVs, SQL databases, Salesforce, Cloudera Hadoop, Firebird, Google Analytics, Oracle, Pivotal, Greenplum, and Windows Azure Marketplace. It can connect with R that powers the analytical capabilities of the tool and also with big data sources. Now let's talk a little bit about the deployment process and the system requirement. Now ClickView has its own data warehouse with the addition of scripting feature that adds more value to it. We can use multi-level layers in ClickView deployment. As it is very easily deployable and configurable, it starts producing stunning reports within minutes of installation. This product does not use cubes, hence loads of tables and charts in the memory enable interactive queries and creation of reports, a technology that is not yet found in other products. It can be developed on both 32 and 64 bit, and its associative technology makes data modeling way easier. As for Tableau, it does not have its own data warehouse. It cannot create layers while connecting with the data set, but it is much easier to deploy because it requires more structured data. With that, let's move on to the insights generation of each of these BI tools. Now, most of the people use these two tools for this specific purpose. For all the data analysts out there, ClickView's associative technology makes it way more powerful and helps to read association between variables easily. 
This feature sometimes help businesses to understand hidden relations between data points as well. For Tableau, the storytelling feature helps you create a presentation using your available data points. Let's just say if this were a beauty contest, Tableau would definitely win. Next, let's look at the UX of both of these. Now, ClickView has great options available to visualize information. It is loaded with various objects and we can play with their properties easily and customize it. We can also create custom charts like waterfall, box plot, geospatial charts by customizing properties. While inserting objects, it has a layout and formatting options similar to the theme of the document. Here, we need to work on formatting options to make it more visually appealing. Apart from this, ClickView will also suggest bits and pieces of a dashboard that you could pick up and throw it in yours. Tableau has great visualization objects as well, but with better formatting options. It has very good visualization for geospatial graphs and numerous options for visualizing data. Now, these graphs are always in the best of quality in Tableau. This is why Tableau wins this round. Now, let's talk a little bit about the data security. Now, ClickView has various security options for script documentation, section access, and user authentication. Direct access to the ClickView document using ClickView Desktop is always governed by Windows NTFS file security. Access to the web-based ClickView Enterprise Management Console is restricted to Windows users who are a member of a particular Windows group. Tableau has great security features as well and is highly handled by the Tableau server. It is a modern enterprise analytics platform that enables self-service analytics at scale through governance. Security is the first and most critical part of the data and content governance strategy. Now, Tableau Server provides the comprehensive features and deep integration to address all aspects of enterprise security. This helps organizations promote trusted data sources for all users. So the right data is used to make the correct decisions. And finally, we have scalability. Now, you may have heard that Tableau offers better scalability than ClickView or that ClickView can scale faster than Tableau. The truth is that both the vendors can handle very huge amounts of data. In fact, the majority of organizations are not even producing that much data, which either solution cannot handle. So with that, let's move on to see how the basic charting works in both of these tools. So this is the ClickSense desktop app and it is used for its dashboarding functionalities. It's got a great layout. It's very, very user friendly. And so we're going to see how we're going to create an app here. So this is a button here which says create new app. Pretty self-explanatory, I'm guessing. So I'm going to go here, name this Edureka demo and create. Now we can see the Edureka demo app was created successfully. I'm going to open app. This might take some time to load. Yeah, so I'm going to go to this option right here. It's going to initialize the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to my computer and select the location of the file that I'll be using. So this is the file that I have picked for this particular demo. Here, we basically have the average income of all the countries in the world. So we have Southeast Asian countries, Sub-Saharan countries, Europe, Central Asia, Middle East, North Africa, a bunch of different countries, and they are divided into low income, middle income, and upper income categories. All right, now I'm gonna add data. And as we see, the data was loaded successfully. So I'm going to close this and it opens up a new sheet for us. Now there is this amazing feature in click view, which is called insight. Now the button is right here, but as soon as your data is ready, you can go ahead, click on this button called generate insights, and it's going to suggest plots and graphs for you to put on your dashboard. So basically here we have a bunch of different graphs. We have a tree map here. And we have bar graphs and scatter charts and maps and whatnot. So from here, I can choose whether to add these graphs to my sheet or not. So I'm going to add this to the sheet. Go down, add this to the sheet and add the comparison chart to my sheet. Now that we've added four of these to our sheet, 
let's go see what the sheet looks like so here we are on our sheet so after i've made my dashboard i can basically cross highlight which is very popular in most of your bi tools here if i select it you can see the corresponding parts being highlighted in your other graphs right here and right here and if i want i can also cut out all my filters then i can edit it let's say put in a name for the sheet call it tableau versus click view demo because that's what it is and then you can go ahead give an expression create a thumbnail so on and so forth but for me this is enough so i'm going with done and then i'm going to save this as my sheet now this is as simple as it gets in click view so let's go ahead to our tableau desktop and see what it has to offer now let's try to do the same thing with tableau so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect to a microsoft excel file the same as i did before it's going to be the same spreadsheet that i had used earlier okay so if i had to say something about tableau the first thing would be that straight off the bat you can see it did not pick up on all my column names which if you remember in the click view it had done on its own yeah so then i'm going to open up my sheet and let's try to make a few visualizations okay so i'm going to bring the country names and i'll put up say some values i'm going to turn this into a bar graph per se i am going to select this and i am only going to keep say our a's all right so select this i'm going to open up a next one i'm going to put in say a map so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this f1 dimension and convert it into a geolocation so i'm going to put in country slash region and then i'm going to pick up this dimension and throw it straight here and it automatically turns into a map now the tableau desktop might not suggest many insights but here you have the freedom to create whatever you like now that we have two sheets let me go ahead and create a dashboard so here we have a new dashboard option i'm going to go there and drag both my sheets now this is definitely not the best dashboard that i could make but my purpose here is to show you how easy it is to use this tableau desktop right i've put it right here i'm going to take this and let's say i'm going to edit the title put in map edit the title again put in bar chart and again i can do the same i can just drag these many points select keep only and as you can see these maps are as interactive as any other bi tool you can choose to save it or put it up in the tableau server where you can share it with your other colleagues and friends but this is what creating a standard dashboard on tableau desktop would take you if i want i can change the location of both of these i can make like a horizontal marking here add something else to the box right here but i choose not to do that and keep it just the way it is you can add text image a web page or anything right here extensions if you will with that i conclude my session thank you and have a great day ahead i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning